Weather's forecast brought to you by Stored at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings. Overnight tonight, going to see another chilly one. We're not going to be down in the 30s like we had a couple of days last week, but still pretty close. 42 degrees overnight tonight, clear and chilly. The wind fairly light after a breezy, chilly, kind of brisk day out there. And tomorrow looks to be quite nice. We're going to be all the way up to 70 degrees. We'll start off rather cool, 43 through the 7 a.m. hour. 61 by the noon hour, mostly sunny skies. And Topping out around 70, you notice the winds out of the north northwest. So that continues to mean cool and dry air on the way. But we have a big warm up in store. Does that mean active weather is back in the forecast? We well, have to wait and find out about that in a few minutes. Your ABC 31 News starts right now. Welcome to ABC 31 News tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Members of the Greater Alexandria Economic Development Authority are taking the next step to let their director negotiate with the city over property on Masonic Drive across from the zoo. The property was cleared by GATA and was on the market for several years. GATA and the city can now negotiate the sale in the neighborhood, expected to be around $325,000. Dollar General hosted a job fair seeking people who are looking for long term careers. Here's what District Manager Patrick West says they're looking for. We have tons of opportunity and tons of success stories within our company. We have tons of people who have started as cashiers or are now store managers, and we've had them go from cashiers all the way up to my position, district manager, and even further up in the company. All of the Alexandria area Dollar Generals are hiring. If you missed out on the job fair, you can apply online or contact your nearest Dollar General for more details. A Bill Platt man is dead from a single vehicle pickup truck accident that's happened over the weekend. 24-year-old William Moran's body was found yesterday in Evangeline Parish on Highway 167 near the St. Landry Parish line. Troopers say he was apparently thrown from the truck the previous day after hitting a bridge rail. Eight accused members of a gang are now indicted for a murder in Evangeline Parish. The federal indictment says those indicted are members of the Aryan Circle, which is said to be responsible for the death of Clifton Hallmark. They include 34-year-old Michael Paul Olean of Mamu, while the others are from Sulphur, Beaumont, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. The indictment says the circle is a race-based, multi-state group that operates inside and outside of state and federal prisons in Texas and Louisiana. A former prison inmate who spent part of his time in the Oakdale Federal Prison now faces charges in connection with a tax fraud scheme. John Michael McConnell is accused of filing false income tax returns, totaling around $171,000. A man from Gina is sentenced in federal court to more than eight years in prison for child pornography. 30-year-old Shane Johnson will be required to register as a sex offender. Authorities say they were able to ID him as the man downloading child porn online and sharing the material. A cruise is coming to a Boyles Parish, sort of. Women are invited out to the Ladies' Night cruise-themed relax party hosted by the Avoyles Council on Aging. The Ladies' Night Out, Avoyles Council on Aging. We're going to be having this in Mansura at the Conchondelet Center, also called the Pavilion. It will be March 22nd uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. And you can purchase your tickets uh, at any time. All the proceeds will go toward the Senior Meals Program. Dr. Thomas Steen Trawick was the guest speaker at the Rotary Club today. The Shreveport doctor covered a topic that's had a big impact on Louisiana this winter, the flu. This year has been a, a really severe a year. We have had a tremendous uh, season, uh, mainly because of one of the strains that tends, when it predominates, it tends to cause quite a bit of uh, damage. Um, the flu vaccine is not quite as effective. But it's still very important to get that vaccine because without it, you're, you're pretty much left unprotected from all the strains of the flu. We've seen a lot more cases with even more deaths. Some of the patients with uh, more chronic co medical conditions, they've had problems uh, and have caused more deaths than usual. Generally, the number of cases has been much higher. The good news now, the number of cases in Louisiana has been on a steady decline lately. Flu season is not officially over until late spring, and vaccines are still available. Well, fewer crawfish means higher prices, and it might be harder to get as much as you'd like. WBRZ's Chris Nakamoto has the story. Hearing it. 
For the better part of seven straight decades, Johnny Carline has been fishing the Atchafalaya Basin for crawfish. Monday, Carline came back after checking 40 traps, and this is what he was left with. Three pounds of the savory and succulent crustaceans. Mostly seeing a, a view in the trap, about five or six to the trap, every trap, you know. Like this. Lewis Kelly owns a seafood market. I'm already turning down orders. He depends on the fishermen in the basin to supply his customers with what they love. Easter weekend, we're going to be short. There's no doubt we're going to be short. The price of crawfish is going to go up, and uh, it's going to be a limited what, to what you can get. These parking spots here in the Atchafalaya Basin at this boat launch show just how high the water is. Although people familiar with the basin and people buying crawfish here say it's going to be bad for Easter week, they expect it to still be a bountiful season. Farmed raised crawfish, like the ones you see here in ponds across South Louisiana, are not affected. But many businesses, like the one Kelly runs, depend on wild caught crawfish, which is why he knows he won't be able to meet the demand that boosts his business around Holy Week and Easter. It's a time that's the pinnacle of crawfish season. I have 22 fishermen on the books, okay. but only a handful went out and, would, and they just didn't catch anything. They came in, I only bought three and a half sacks of crawfish Saturday. Although the high water is posing problems right now, they say the excess water from the high river will ultimately be good for the basin. The flow of the water is good. A lot of places are getting flushed that never been flushed in the last 20 years. And those fishing for 70 plus years know things will get better. We'll be getting at the end, you know, we always do. Now to a cheerier note for crawfish fans. During each year of the spring semester, LSU of Alexandria's student government hosts a crawfish boil. Students, faculty, staff, and community members are all invited out to the campus quad to enjoy a five-pound tray of crawfish with sauce, corn, potatoes, and a drink. Along with live music, this year's entertainment was Adam Pierce, who appeared on NBC's The Voice. It's the biggest event that SG hosts all year, um, and it, I think to me it's the culmination of what Louisiana is, especially to our out-of-state and international students who might not be as familiar with it. Um, of course, we have live music this year is Adam Pierce, who's actually an LSUA um, student. He was in the past. He was on The Voice last, uh, last season, something that SG really looks forward to. It's a selling point for the university. People love to come out and see this. As you can tell, you have community members, faculty, staff intermingling, with, and then, of course, students from every place. And so it really is just the true um, bringing together of everyone that we have here at LSUA. For some international students, the crawfish boil is one of their best chances to get a real taste of Louisiana culture. And it's a way for the campus to celebrate the spring semester nearing the end. The annual event raises money for the LSUA student government. Medical examiner. Detective. Homicide. I can't write you a prescription. These are my day clips. Ding. Then I had to chase this guy all the way down to Fenway. We should do this again sometime. Rizzoli and Isles. A perfect match. Weekends 11 on KLAX TV. Sixty-five degrees out there in most of the state. Looking at sixties today. We'd have Lake Charles get all the way up to seventy. They were the the lucky spot in the state today. Only sixty-five here. Sixty-four in Natchez. Mackinac looking at sixty-six as well as Leesville Monroe to sixty-four. We did have breezy conditions as well. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, will be a cool start. We're going to get all the way up to seventy tomorrow, but forty-seven by four a.m., forty-five through the six o'clock hour, and forty-two. By 8 a.m., we will have clear skies. That is the good news going through the early morning hours. And our current conditions right now, well, 65 and sunny. So we're still holding on to the temperature right around where our high was today, occurring not too long ago. The dew point at 42. This will continue to dry over the next couple of days as high pressure moves in and dry air at that is going to be coming out of the southwest. And that is always dry air. We've still got the breezy conditions. Winds out of the northwest at about 14 miles per hour. The visibility all clear. Looking at our radar, well, not much going on. You got to look all the way up into northern Alabama where the severe weather was going on yesterday. And they're just seeing a couple of showers up that way. But here, all dry and all is clear off to the west. That will continue to be the case over the next several days. Not likely to see any change. 
As far as active weather goes, for at least a couple of days, partly sunny for the day tomorrow. Still kind of cool, but we will get all the way up to 70. Then it's going to be beautiful for our Thursday. Partly sunny and very comfortable. Dew points will still remain low, but we'll have those temperatures creeping up into the mid 70s. So it'll be very, very nice to be outside on Thursday and Friday. More of the same. Nice weather, a little bit warmer. We'll eventually be getting. Pretty warm as we head into the weekend. Cool and brisk across the southeast. Here tomorrow, slightly nicer than today, if you want to describe it that way. We'll have temperatures back up into the 70s, at least the low 70s, and the breezy conditions won't be nearly as bad. Looking ahead toward the end of the week, same map I showed you yesterday. Notice all the dry air around the southeast and high pressure taking control across the plains. That will extend warm air into our area as we go into the weekend. Temperatures will be getting up into the mid 80s in some places. Overnight tonight, down to 42. Oak Grove could be as cold as 40, same as Marksville as well. Looking at 70 for the day tomorrow, partly sunny. The wind not nearly as bad as today. And that extended forecast, just absolutely gorgeous Wednesday through Friday. Then as we head into the weekend, we'll see some clouds move in, but temperatures getting all the way up to the mid-80s. 83 for our Sunday, 82 on Monday. And then maybe looking at our next storm system as we move into the middle of next week. That's a look at your seven-day and your weather forecast. Scott? Looking pretty good out there, Ross. Thank you. Coming up in sports, the LSUA Generals are off to the national title game. When a case seems unsolvable, they see the incredible murder, motive, secrets, bones, weekends. Watch Bones, weekends on KLAX ABC 31. Good evening and welcome back to KLX ABC 31 Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. The dream is still alive for the LSU Alexandria Generals men's basketball team as they were able to surprise the top seeded and fourth ranked William Penn University on Monday night to advance to the program's first ever national title game. The Generals, they fell behind by nine early on in Monday's game before fighting back to a 37 all tie going into halftime. Brandon Moss. The newly crowned dunk champion of the NAI lifted the Generals with scoring honors, finishing with 21 points to help carry LSUA to the title game. Shannon James Jr. he averaged or added 16 in the win as the Generals will need a repeat performance by all involved if they want to bring home a national title. They play Graceland for all the marbles tonight. We'll have more on that title game coming up tomorrow. Thanks, Zach. And thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night. Good morning, Central Louisiana. Good morning, America. Look for your local weather updates during GMA. Brought to you by LSUA. Find your way to A. Only one doctor brings health right to your home. Every day is a new chance for change, and everyone can start right now. Make an appointment with Dr. Oz. Check in for your daily checkup.